When faced with the challenge of finding the best care for your loved one, knowing they will be well cared for is critical. And for Nancy Waters of Ottawa, there was no question about the personal, quality, long-term care provided to both of her parents at Providence Manor. Actually, when you come to Providence, it's like a little village, and it's full of all age groups. And there's lots of young people. First of all, the staff is young. Um, the staff is very special, very interpersonal. Uh, people who come to visit, uh, children of the residents, are middle-aged. They may bring their children and their grandchildren. So, I mean, my dad's great-granddaughter of three months old had a really quality visit with him, along with uh, his three-year-old grandson, uh, you know, in the final few months of his life. Both of Nancy's parents, Charles and Elizabeth Plaxton, were struck by stroke. Charlie's came first, although he was able to remain at a local retirement home with some extra assistance. The CCAC people at St. Lawrence Place who were providing some extra services for my dad and mom there um, had wisely suggested that we have the conversation that, with my dad and my mother about when it came time, should they need long-term care, what would their choice be? And without even skipping a beat, my dad said Providence. He's uh, a Roman, was a Roman Catholic and knew of Providence and valued that aspect of Providence's history and must have heard great things about Providence Manor. So it was really his decision that this would be the place for him and also for my mother at a time that they might need this level of care. In 2003, Nancy's mother was partially paralyzed due to a stroke and needed long-term care immediately. She was here for just a little over a year, I think, and um, she was quite a challenging resident for the staff here because she had a certain amount of um, uh, mood changes, especially in the evening. While she has had many positive memories of her mother's stay at the manor, Nancy says the final weeks of her mother's life are most vivid in her mind. It's clear in my brain, even though it was 2004, like that's 10 years ago now and it's just as though it was yesterday. My brother and I were sitting together in my mom's room at about quarter to 11 one night and uh, she could speak and ask for water at that point but she was sort of in and out of being able to communicate and she wasn't communicating much. But a PSW popped in, introduced herself to us. Turns out she works permanent nights and she told us her name and said, I've never met you two before, but I know your mother really well. And I really knew what she meant by that <laughs> because my mother was not, Betty was her name, was not an easy character, um, especially as I said in the evenings when she felt restless. But this PSW wanted to know before she started her shift, was there anything that she could get us? And I knew without her saying, you know, a ginger ale, a glass of juice, just is there anything that we needed? And I, we both knew that this was her way of saying, um, I'm aware that your mother's in her final time and that this is a hard time for you and I want you to know that you're not alone. We're here for you. And uh, it was very personal and very not necessary and very special. Through that night, um, I could hear the staff, I was resting more than sleeping, uh, but I could hear the staff turn my mother, the PSW and the RPN, and uh, they were very respectful with her, they called her by name, they were very gentle with her, they talked with each other about what looked like would be more comfortable, less comfortable for her. Um, the RN came also to see me before I lay down for the night and asked me if there was anything I needed. Um, the staff, the RPN, got me up when it was the right time and I was able to tune in and be part of the last I, maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes of my mother's life and I was never alone and I really appreciated that. Four years later, Nancy's family was again taking up residence at Providence Manor as the effects of stroke continued to erode Charlie's freedom. But everybody knew Charlie and he got to know them and he recognized people. He recognized the residents. He recognized the staff. The staff recognized him. When my dad first came here, he was quite able to follow Mass, to sing and say the prayers, and especially if they were familiar to him. And we would go together. And as I mentioned to you, it felt normal. It's like, that's what I did when I grew up in his house. Only he would be in the driveway waiting for me my brothers to show up and get in on the car on time and always threatening that the next week he, he wasn't going to wait for us. 
Another special part of Providence Manor is the recognition provided to our military veterans like Charlie through the Veterans Room and the annual Remembrance Day Ceremony. For the Plaxton family, there was no question as to the quality of care provided at Providence Manor. As I said to him, said to me, we love your dad, and I, I really truly believe they did. There was a real connection and interaction there. We had his funeral mass here at the chapel, and they have something called an honor guard. And we had a reception for the family um, in your fireplace room. But we, when we left from there to go into the chapel, uh, the staff had been called down from all over Providence and were lined up right down the hall, right past the front door and the front desk, right into the chapel. People I'd said goodbye to just three days earlier with my dad on a stretcher with the paramedics. And uh, it was very special. There's nowhere else that we should have had his funeral mass than right here. The staff at Providence Banner have also left a lasting impression. My brother calls them saints for the kind of work that they do here when he doesn't have a, a health care background. So when he saw the kind of work that the staff do day in and day out with the demands of physical demands and, and mental demands of the residents' care here, he just calls them angels. While very few people look forward to long-term care, Nancy says the experience has been positive. Probably a lot better than people might think. And when you come here, you really feel well, well cared for um, as a family member, and that you feel that your family member is really well looked after. And we're lucky. My goodness, we couldn't have provided this level of care in our own homes, so I've felt very lucky to have this resource to provide my parents with um, the best care possible to meet the needs they had at the time in the final years of their life. This was their home.